Climate change is on a complete collision course right now with civilization as we know it. We've had lots of civilizations collapse in the past from environmental causes. I'm certain climate change has occurred. Our responses at the moment are inadequate in terms of coping with these newly displaced people. These are really the human faces of climate change. Nature is now at war with us. We're going to have to rethink climate change as being some remote environmental issue that the scientists will work out over there. It's so huge. It's so big that's coming our way. It's almost beyond comprehension. We are the same. Human race. No difference. We're dealing with the fact that there's a gap between what the law provides and what the world needs. People cross borders all the time. That will change all sorts of equations. When you get scarce resources or if you get a change so radical that people can't function, uh, you have huge displacement. The threat of refugees as a consequence of climate change is an enormous national security issue. Europe is spending millions to defend itself against immigration from Africa. When the Pentagon begins to think about what might happen, that's a clear indication that we have to start taking something seriously. This is not a 100-year or 50-year issue, it's a present issue. It already is affecting the price of food you're putting on the table. It will affect the price of energy that you pay for your home and your automobile. We can meet this challenge. We can transition to a low-carbon economy. We can invent our way out of this problem. We ought to be able to come together, not red versus blue, but in a red, white, and blue way. challenge is no longer to save the planet. The challenge now is to save civilization itself. And that is not a spectator sport. So what I'm... I'm my mama blow me plan, I'm selling out my plan. But I'm selling out my plan. At the rate Emi Woklong go now, island Woklong sink. And by island sink pass, or all man by die pass lo hangere. Money, all man by die pass lo hangere. I don't want this to happen to my people. If we come here, we will not be the cartridge people anymore. Most of our culture will have to live in memory. If everybody moves, I think I'll be the last man to put my feet on the island before moving away.
to Walu is like, it's my heart. Even though I'm away, far away, go where I go, but still deep in my heart, my island, my country, it's always there. Before not too much car now, motorbike, car has grown up. But I see that internal forces are natural. Any culture is never static. But the force from the outside is, is a lot more powerful. And this tiny little island nation in the South Pacific was blessed uh, with the top level domain TV. It sold over 80,000 domain names and generated over $12 million in, in revenue. We are the front line of what's being caused by industrialized nations. This place where we're swimming now, this all the land before. It's a nice village before and now. And now it's finished. All gone. I'm afraid of what is going to happen to our land. Eh? The rise in the sea, the change in the weather. What's going to happen to Tuvalu? Eh? Here in New Zealand, in 60 years time, probably the children won't be able to speak the language. And it is our role now. We teach the Sunday school children with the, the language to make sure that our culture, our language, our identity as Tuvaluan. Even if Tuvalu disappears in 50 years, but we want to maintain our identity as Tuvaluans wherever we travel. Scientific research shows that the Pacific is the region most affected in the entire world by climate change. We've seen the scenarios, the projections put forward by the scientific community. I am not being pessimistic, I'm being very realistic. And I think as a leader it's important that um, we provide options. Even if there is that 1% possibility that it will happen, we must provide the options for our people. One thing that I want, and I've always emphasized, is that we, we, we never wish to be refugees. And we would be refugees if we don't do anything now. Because a refugee is a, a response to an, unex, an unexpected event. Okay, But we know it's coming, so we should be acting accordingly, beginning from now. And then we would have our people, if they need to migrate, to migrate with dignity, not as refugees. I have moved three times. Every three years I moved. My first house is about 20 meters from here, 15 meters to 20 meters from where I'm standing. After another three years, I had to move away from here and build another home there. And that's your house just over the sea wall? Yeah, that's my last house. I'm not quite sure how long I'll be there. But that depends on the 
how strong my Siwo is, who stand the uh, high tide waves. Nothing we can do about it. I don't want to live here because I was born here and my sister lives here as well. But if that facts and but if that facts affects me, then I will happy to leave here. Mm. I feel very sad and it's hurts it to leave where you come from. The scientists have said that in 50 years Kidipes will submerge underwater. That's not a happy thought. Carbon trading will be of no consequence to us. So there has got to be some very special provisions for the victims, not the potential victims, the victims, because we are victims. And so there's got to, there's got to be some very deep soul searching on the part of people to do something about it. sovereign nation? Will we remain a people? Will, will, will we be able to maintain the identity and the culture that we have? And my answer is yes, I will do everything in my power to be able to do so. But at what cost? And who is going to pay for it? Where you live, in a big country or a small island, we are the same. Human race, no difference. If they suffer, we are suffered too. <clears throat> no difference. Men made by God the same. <clears throat> but the principle, love one another. That's the principle. Whatever, different in color, different in language, different in custom, but we are one. Love one another. Tell the leaders of the world to think about us. It's because we are human. We have to survive. Mm.